Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make uh, key combinations like uh, you have in fighting games, for example Tekken or Street Fighter or any other fighting games. So all I've done here is made an active object and made it white. I'm just going to color uh, the object when we hit the right combination because um, I don't want to deal with all the sprites and stuff just for this uh, demonstration so we need a string let's call this combo and um, let's add the string here to, uh, to make it easier for us to see what's going on Set to white. <coughs> so I'll add some combinations. We'll have, um, say, green. If you hit this combination, then it will turn green. Red. Blue. Let's start with those. Uh, so the first thing you have to do is upon pressing key, if uh, I'm just going to use the arrow keys for the combinations, you can use whatever you want, but uh, you have to make sure you uh, write the right things in, in the strings that uh, we're going to use. So if I press the right arrow, I'm going to set its um, I'm going to set its string combo to combo plus right and have a space here. It makes it uh, easier to just uh, copy the codes afterwards and add more uh, add more co uh, combinations so I'll do the same with the left I'll say just left and the space is already here so for up So I'm going to make an always event just to, so we can see what's uh, in our combo string. So I'll change the alterable string to its combo string. So now when I press up, it displays whatever I'm hitting. But as you can see, uh, this combo never clears itself. So there's two ways to do this. We can either have a combo timer as uh, in Tekken. So you have to hit the combination quickly. If you pause out for too long then the whole string clears. So to do this we can simply say upon pressing any key let's make a new uh, alterable value here and say combo timer combo timer and set it to 30 and if the combo timer is greater than 0 we will subtract 1 and if it's equal or we will just set the combo string to nothing so it clears so now when I press if I wait it will uh, 
clear itself. So you don't have a lot of time to press the combination. <coughs> the second way to do this is uh, that if the if the length of the string exceeds a certain value, then we will remove some of the string. <coughs> so the way to do this is um, we will say if the string combo from uh, it's wait we have to compare to general values if the length it's here length this is for strings so if the length of this uh, combo string is greater than 20 <coughs> then we will set the <coughs> we will set the combo string to uh, then we press right here and set uh, the combo string in here and say 20. So this will pick the letters from right to left so the last thing you put in will stay. The last 20 characters of the string will remain. So let's test this out. So So 20 might be a little low. We could al also do this, just replace it by always and set the combo to... Right, it, it will do the same thing, actually. So we can just increase this to say 60, so we can have a longer, uh, longer combination. So now let's add the combinations. So for green, I want to say up, down, down. And remember to put the space in here because uh, uh, we always put uh, a space after the, the text. So we have to do the same here or else it won't work. And for red I'll say left, right, right and space. And for blue I'll say up, down, left, right and space. So now we need to check if the combination is equal to uh, these uh, combos, these different combos. So <coughs> we'll check if green is equal to combo. Actually, <coughs> do this press this right here, so it will uh, check from the right to the left of the combo string and the number of characters will be the length of the, the combination here. So if uh, I want to check if the green is uh, correct, then I will say the length of the string green. So now if this is true then I will set its uh, RGB to 0 to 55 0. So now if I press up down down it should turn green. Up down down and it did. If 
I did anything else, it doesn't do anything. So only if I, it ends on uh, up, down, down, then it will happen. See, I can press anything, then I press up, down, down, and it turns green. So now we can do the same for the other colors or the other combinations. We'll just say red hair and red there. And then we'll change the color to red instead. And also with blue. change the color to blue. So let's test those out as well. Left, right, right. That didn't work. Up, down, left, right. That didn't work either. So something is wrong. Okay, so I have find, found a mistake here. Uh, I just misspell, misspelled this. I don't know why the blue didn't work, but when I tested just now it did work. So uh, up, down, left, right was blue, and left, right, right was red, and up, down, down was green. So now you could use this for any fighter game. I know some people have requested to make a beat em up tutorial and uh, this cer certainly could help for some of it if you want to have uh, like different types of attacks you want to use in that game. I might make a beat em up movement tutorial later and items but uh, for now I'll stick to this. So I hope you learned something and I'll see you next time.